This is the approach to the George Lane roundabout from the high road at the top of the hill. From the roundabout, we're taking the second exit, which is in the top left hand corner, so we need to treat it as if it's the road ahead. Even before you enter, keep to the left, that way you won't be undertaken. Despite the fact that this is a dual carriageway, the limit is still 30, but even that might be too fast because of all the cars that may be pulling out, potential doors opening, or people walking out from between the parked cars. The road ends just after the left-hand bend, but the vision is quite open, so if you approach the bend in second gear, you might just be able to keep the car moving. After this compulsory left turn, we're then taking the next road on the right. Even if you miss the sign at the beginning of the road, you can see from all the parked cars facing the same direction that this is a one-way street. From here, the examiner might ask you to take the road ahead or turn right. On this occasion, we're taking the road ahead, so we need to stay in the left-hand lane. Because we're crossing a one-way street, you can see from the picture that we're giving way to traffic coming from the left. But also keep in mind the zebra crossing just after the junction. Finally, the road narrows because of parked cars on either side, so be prepared to hold back the cars coming up the hill.